Hi, my name is Nosh, and it gives me a sugar on this Birds Video Podcast. Um, can I talk about Luka Modric and PSG's interest in him? And how it seems a very complicated, tangled web. As many of you guys know, Qataris own Paris Saint Germain. They missed out on winning the League One by about, what, three points? And, you know, Montpellier have obviously had obviously had to sell um, Giroud. And yeah, probably PSG will win the title this year. They've obviously bought Levetsi. But something interesting about um, PSG is that the way that Ancelotti has always played, he's played with a diamond formation. 4 1 2 1 2 kind of thing. And as good as Luka Modric is, he's now Pirlo. You know, that's more of a little Pirlo, Alonso, even Yaya Toro, but someone who's a real pass master, quarterback. Um, and I don't think um, as good as Luke's passing his passing is more about m- keeping that ball moving that constant perpetual motion kind of thing however it seems it's, it's just you know, as, as, as some of you guys may also know the Qataris earn a substantial bit of savings breeze 20% you know our percent savings breeze are going to be probably our biggest commercial tenants actually in the new NDP projects and so here's the thing that I'm noticing. You've got Qataris are probably going to, you know, are going to do anything they can to promote the World Cup 2022. They're sponsoring Barcelona. They own, or some of them buy Malaga, they own Malaga, they own PSG. They kind of own another Kansas City club, mainly because, you know, you wait for rules to prevent that. However, you know, they're probably going to sponsor us, I think. And as some of you guys know, like alternative players, what ten million a year just for the league, you know, and probably we've got another what, five million from Investec, so that's fifteen million. Obviously, we're in the Champions League at the time, but chances are people have seen our project, they've seen why we play football. I'm thinking we're going to get at least fifteen million a year. I think that's just that's that's the benchmark that's being set. Secondly, the fact that you got stadium rights in there, it's got to be at least between fifteen and twenty million a year. Do it over ten years. Yeah, very similar to the Arsenal deal. Lots of there's 125 million over 15 years. I think I'll be 200 million over 200 million over say 10 years, just in time for the World Cup 2022. And even though obviously we know the Etihad Stadium deal was not fair value, 400 million that is not fair value. I think we do realise that, yeah, we could you know there is a benchmark to be made here. Um. And the Qataris with PSG, I think Ancelotti and Mourinho have never got on with each other, you know. And they they traded barbs even when Ancelotti, you know, when they're on their Milan, one was at AC, at Milan, the other was at Inter. And then obviously when when, when Ancelotti was at Chelsea, and Mourinho was still Inter. And I'm assuming that there's still animosity between them. And imagine this: you PSG have spent 42 million on Thiago Silva. And he, and he's a great player, don't get me wrong, he's an excellent player, but 42 million euros for a defender? You've got to be kidding me, he's not even the best defender in the world. I mean, he's, he's good, he's very good, but come on, dude. But I think, and obviously they're going to write Sam Ibrahimovic, they've got limitless amounts of money, because obviously, you know, their business model, you know, they're, they're the only club in, in Paris, you know, they're going to, you know, their talent, you know, they win everything. People want to be part of a successful brand. It makes sense. That's what Chelsea have been doing. But if you think about it, if he can get, if let's say he raises the price, very very similar to the way Clive Allen was transferred from you know, Palace to QPR via Arsenal. Arsenal had its go between. So I don't know if they got some money out of it or something. That's never been officially confirmed. Qataris, obviously, they're interested in PSG. They're obviously interested in us and London doing well. Um, I've just got a very funny feeling, and I've actually asked Angelotti not really liking Mourinho. If, if look, they get a higher price for Mourinho, great, Levy's happy, everyone's happy. Who's stopped Levy asking for that business player saying, look, you know what, I want to do a deal, but I want to, I've got to sell Luka Modric, you know, can you help me out here? I'm not saying that's the actual case, I'm not saying that's actual conversation, but obviously there's a lot to promote, there's a lot to incentivize um, PSG. Firstly, they weaken a rival, 
you know, because you say you, you make you make them play over the odds. You make them play over the odds. I mean, like way over the odds. That that leaves me much for other areas. Let's face it, Madrid, you know, through sheer fluke of somehow getting two hundred million euros for some piece of land or something from the Spanish government, you know, cleared all their debts. I don't see that same providence happen again. That same you know from the Spanish government this time, especially in easy, very uncertain economic times. So they do one of two things: either they stop PS, you know, Real Madrid getting hold of a very good player, Luka Modric, or they face they, they force them to play way over the odds. Either way, they don't lose. You know, we're obviously going to be linked to the Qataris, Sainsbury's, everything, and Qatar International Airlines. It just seems too much of a fit. Who knows? Maybe I'm clutching. Maybe I'm being Michael Weston and you know, seeing patterns where there isn't patterns. Or, yeah. I forgot what the, oh, I forgot what the, the character the actual actor Michael Weston played in um, Burn Notice, but yeah, he saw he he's in the patterns, in the patterns. But when you see it, it's in the patterns, you know. But I just see something about that, and they're talking. And the thing is, look, and then they check Fabregas. The reason that, that I'm not even bad, thirty five million for Czech Fabregas. I think Czech Fabregas is a much better player than Luka Modric is. And Barcelona have got to pay for paying for thirty five million because first of all, Chef Arroyo gave up bonus payments that he was entitled to. Secondly, Barcelona the only club that I want to go in for him. So Arsenal had to accept a lower price, and I think he had two years left on his contract. The deck was extremely stacked against Arsenal. I think Levy's been very smart. The deck is stacked more in our favour, and as a result, Luka Modric just say, "Look, if he goes, he goes, but at the right price." And by saying that, so no, we're going to arrival, and we're going to send him to him at the right price. And now, if you've got like a PSG, so it's like if it's an auction, you know, you have someone in there to um, say, oh, I have 100,000 there, oh, 110, 120, 130. You have someone in there, a secret person, just to bid up the auction price a little bit. And if that person really wants it, they will pay a little bit extra, you know. Obviously, they wouldn't, you know, they, they want to pay for it, but having that person in there will force them to bump that price up. So anyway, that's my theory, and this is my you know this is a YouTube's video podcast. As you guys know, SpursRom.co.uk. Shouts out to Tom and hi guys. Um, he's a SpursRom poster who doesn't apparently didn't like my videos and gave some really bad comments, but they were deleted. So I ask you, those not SpursRom, those who are mods, please don't delete them. Let that guy post whatever he wants. See, I'm being a bad Muslim. I'm believing in free speech, democracy, and all kinds of other crap. Um, Shout out, shout out to Debs because apparently um, uh, Van der Vaart's staying, so I think I should make her happy. Shout out to Jerry, um, Jez, Peter, Kevin G, Super Spurs, JT, anyone that follow follow into it, and Major Hank. Man, dude, what's, that, what's happening, mate? I'm missing you. I'm missing your comments. Anyway, as always, this always great to give you guys a shout out, and as always, come on, you Spurs.